Hello guys and welcome back to the League of Legends. Today we are playing Vash in the support lane. And because as I mentioned in the last video when I was playing Blood Moon Callista, I had mentioned that I had gotten the Blood Moon skins. Zed playing on Adele. <laughs> well yeah, because I guess they're saying that mostly because the Zed had very bad internet connection. Lol 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 lol. So basically I got Blood Moon Thresh and that Blood Moon bundle, so I decided to play Blood Moon Thresh today. So, because I thought, you know, it looked like a pretty awesome skin. I just love the color red, and that's one of the reasons why I really like the Blood Moon Bundle skins. So, let's see. I'm going to start with my hook, just because I like going aggressive. And let's go over the teams. It's a mid Velkaz, ADC. Um, I, wait. Sorry, guys. I was in the whole wrong order. It's Top Teemo, Jingle Olaf, mid Velkaz, ADC Silver, and Support Thresh. They're Top Darius, a Jungle... Fizz, Jingle Fizz, my bad guys, Mid Zed, ADC Clista, and Support Mordekaiser. Because, you know, Mordekaiser is now possibly a support because he is a dual lane champion now, apparently. Or at least that's how Ride's trying to push him a bit. Trying to break the envelope. All the hamsters are dead, so he had to spin it himself. If you guys don't know what he, they're talking about, is in. Something that like was po like a popular image, like if someone had a bad computer, like they would put a hamster in a wheel to power it instead of using electricity if they didn't have a good computer. Windows 1. They literally have Windows 1. So let's see. I don't know what they're all talking about. It seems like Olaf, our jangler, is starting the grump. So I wonder where they're starting, if they're jungler. Okay, so we now see the Zed. And it seems like they're starting, starting to fight a bit. So let's see. I don't know why you're waiting in that bush for so long. <laughs> so where's the way to Kaiser? There is the way to Kaiser. If you guys don't know, Mordekaiser's laugh is white, 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 white. It's a funny laugh, in my opinion. Can I go ahead and kill this? Nope, I couldn't. I don't think I was fast enough or didn't do enough damage. Gonna go ahead and get off some damage here. Gonna get off a nice hook. Hopefully you can get off some nice poke on the Mordekaiser. Which is always nice, you know. I play very aggressive fresh support, so I'm going to go try to get off as many hooks as I can. going to dodge that because no reason to take you to the face. going to go ahead and grab the Hoi to Kaiser. going to go ahead and exhaust him. Hopefully, maybe we can go ahead and kill him. There's Callista in the way now, so maybe we can do something to Callista if she continuously attacks me. Of course, it seems like, you know, right now, they're not trying to... Uh, I don't get it. That's definitely, in my opinion, was just bad. We should have torn on the Callista. She kept chasing the Callista. Good job. But, you sh... Uh, I'm not even going to say it. That's probably going to be taken as a bit, you know, mean. But, I mean, honestly, she should have switched a lot sooner and attacked the Callista. So, I could have probably survived. If I had survived even a bit longer, I could have gotten off my hook. Which would probably allow us to kill her with both of us alive. But, you know, whatever. Her prerogative, I guess. So let's see, she's going to get off some poke, and I couldn't even get the cannon minion because I was dead. That, this all just, you know, doesn't sit well with me, but of course, you know, I don't know if anyone who has really sits, who has dying sit well with them. Can I get that? Okay, good. Hopefully she lets me get it for her, good. She turned off of it so I can get it for her, I'm going to go ahead and just approach the Mordecai, so trying to force him to back up knowing, so he knows that I am going to actually, if I can, hook him. Because that's going to give us the most power. And I'm going to go ahead and actually uh, miss the Callista. So I'm going to go ahead and pull him in close. It's not really going to happen. Whatever. I'm so good. I guess Vilkaz is good. I don't know. Look at me. Vilkaz, I am looking at you. Show me how awesome you are. Show me just how amazing you are. I want to see it. Yeah. Sadly, you can get those underneath the turret. Hopefully getting off a hook here. Gonna go ahead and see if I can hook one of them. Gonna pull him under, not the turret, I guess. I was hoping to get him under the turret, but it doesn't seem like we can. And she should definitely be a kill. So I'm gonna go ahead and, like I said, switch to Clist to try to give her some pressure. But look at this. She's level 2 now. Silver's already level 4. That's pretty nice. That's pretty nice indeed. There's the way to Actually, Quaid Kaiser's level 4 too. Gonna go ahead and get some minions for myself, I guess. Can I, can I get the hook underneath the tower? Can I do that? Am I man enough? Can I can I get the 
Oh, uh, no. She's not going to let me the Camion. Dang. That would have been nice, though, if she, I got the Camion. That would have been a lot of good gold for both of us. But it doesn't really matter too much. Mordecai, so you're going to step out of line. Ooh, no. I was hoping to do it, get him, but the minions were in the way. So I had to go that way. I was hoping he'd continue walking that line, but it seems like he didn't, which is sad enough. And I don't know. Gonna head, head pull him closer so and slow him down, forcing out the flash. Definitely good for us. Seems like Clista has her little ghouls going up and down the lane already. And let's see, relic shield wise, he's already shield 55, I shield 56. That's already an accomplishment in its own, I guess. Nope, now that he shared more. Sadly enough. Ooh, can I get this? Okay, good. I shared some gold. That's nice. And let's see. Right now, the jungle is Fizz. He's a bit of a risk as soon as he reaches level 6. But he's already top lane, so I guess, you know, we don't have to worry about him too much. Fact. We don't have to worry too much at all, actually, because the mid laner, we all know what all the laners are, so we don't have to really worry. Gonna actually get the mini by mistake. My bad. My bad. But it doesn't matter. As long as we stay relatively safe and I get enough mana for another hook when we need it, it doesn't really matter. I want to get my sight stone soon, so I'm going to try to save up for that. We should be a bit careful, though. I was hoping maybe to sh scare the Mordekaiser off of backing. That would have been pretty nice. Pretty nice indeed, but it seems like we couldn't have done that. I'm going to try moving my mic a bit farther away from my face, because I know like in the last few videos it's been a bit staticky, which... Is only not only annoying to you guys, but annoying to me, and I feel it annoys me to have stack in my videos because I'm like, <sighs> dang it, you know. Oh, he's still level four because he appeared up mid. They have two kills, one from the Clista on me and one from the Fizz on apparently the Teemo. I guess when I when we saw him, we actually watched him die top, and I don't know why I didn't realize that sooner. So I'm actually the same level as the Clista, and Mordecai is the same level as the our Silver here. So that's pretty nice, you know, good leveling. Gonna go ahead and pull on the Clista Exhauster. I don't know what the heck this Sivir is doing. Like, literally. She is doing nothing to help me at all. And now she's coming in way too late. I feel like, you know, teamwork isn't, hasn't been my team's specialty of as of late. I'm gonna back off. Fizz actually might be here, so I'm actually gonna back off really far. Hopefully, if Olaf does come in, he'd... He's safe, at least he should be try to be safe. I don't know why he's dancing outside the bush. That's just asking for trouble. Because if they would have gotten into that bush, he wouldn't have seen them until it was too late. Can he defend tower, maybe? I'm going to go ahead and... No, I'm not going to ping. It looks like he's going to defend it anyway. So that's good. That's very good. Not going to be able to get the full item build. So I'm going to go ahead and get two sight wards instead. And I now have enough for a pink, or at least soon enough. So I'm going to go ahead and get a pink. And let's see, we got a kill on the Darius, though at least our, um, not we, but the Teemo did. So I'm going to say, good job, Teemo. Still no death. I guess Vilkaz is just saying he's good because he hasn't died yet. Which, you know, it's good that he hasn't died, but I mean, I haven't really seen him play, so he may or may not be good. I have no idea. All these ganks and still no deaths. Oh, so is he constantly being ganked and not dying? Though, I guess, you know, it's good that he's not dying, but I don't know why he's, why he's so happy about, you know, it. Like, he's not doing, or at least as I've seen, let's see, farming-wise, he's actually very far ahead, actually. That's pretty good. He's doing a pretty good job. I'm going to throw that there. going to get the minion by mistake. My bad, minion. I didn't mean to bring you into all this violence, this Grutex world of ours. going to go ahead and knock him up. Can I dodge the Q? Well, she wasn't even going to try to fly off the Q, so I guess, you know, it doesn't really matter. I was thinking maybe I could, if she threw out a Q, I could dodge it. Uh, okay, so they have a level 6 Mordecai, so not the biggest deal. They have a level 6 Callista, which is not also the biggest deal. But, I mean, we should still be very careful. I'm actually going to put down a few wards, you know. Just keep our vision on a good setting. And there's Callista. Callista's little thing. I'm going to go ahead and kill it. Because it needs to die. And she wants me to come back. But I want to just clear some vision down. She's not too low. So it shouldn't be too big of a problem if they do dive her if I'm here. Gonna go ahead and hook her, pull under the tower, and she's dead, so all's good that ends well. I'm gonna go ahead and, th oh, I was gonna throw down my shield on her, but she backed out of it. So I'm gonna go ahead and just do some damage to him. She wants me to back off, understandable, but I mean, I still think, you know, I could still get a bit more aggressive. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull him out, gonna throw out my ultimate, or not. I'm actually gonna miss that, but we still got another kill, so I'm gonna say good job. Like I said, sometimes you gotta be more aggressive. 
instead of more cautious, which I can understand why she wants to be maybe very cautious. Although I don't know exactly why. Shiva, I believe, is supposed to be a lane bullyish. I'm actually say she should back. She should definitely back. And now that they're both dead, it's safe for us to both back. But I'm actually gonna go ahead and get my souls because, you know, I like eating souls. They're very tasty. See, I know Shiva was telling you to be careful, but I was just getting a few souls. I wasn't gonna go anything too dangerous. Okay, can he survive this? That is the true question. He is the man who has cheated death. Can he cheat it still even more? If okay, he's gonna cheat death again. This real cause is too good, too pro. He's too pro. So let's see. I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can. Yeah, I can get my sight zone, which is nice, very nice, very nice. And I'm gonna start building off towards. They do have a lot of AD, and right now their strongest on their team is Fizz. So I'm actually gonna go AP and get the Locket of the Iron Solari, just because it is AOE or or uh, magic. Um, whatever magic resistance, so that's gonna be pretty nice. Gonna wait till I can get my ruby crystal because that's about as much as I can get, actually. And I'm gonna go ahead and move to lane. Yeah, she wants me to go ahead and be there, but she gotta be patient. I mean, there isn't too many mains, so she shouldn't be too bad for you know, wave clear. So they should be, she should be fine for now. And by the time I get there, be patient, bro. Patience, patience, bro. We all gotta be patient to win. Strategy requires patience. Okay, let's see. Can Darius? Nope, Darius can't do much to the Teemo. So let's see. Let's see. We have wards out. We don't need any wards. So let's see. What can I do here? I'm going to throw that out. Get the Huey to Kaiser. Not going to use my Flay because I feel like, you know, there was not much we could do there. Got to focus on clearing the wave. We don't want, you know, them to get it. Velikaz is coming in. Going to go ahead and throw that out for him. Going to go ahead and... Ooh. Slow him down. Gonna actually get his flash, but he's still dead. Gonna head see if I can't get him. Gonna head. Oh, she's dead too. Gonna actually go ahead and heal so that the civil can get away. And I'm gonna throw that out there. So if he does try to chase, he's gonna die. And he realizes that he's gonna die if he keeps chasing. So hopefully that means he's not gonna stay too close and we can get tower without much trouble. I'm gonna have my W up pretty soon, so that's pretty nice. So I can shield anyone who needs it. We should still be relatively careful of the Fizz, because, like I said, he is the strongest on their team. Ooh, no, that's not going to hit. If that did hit, though, that would have been a dead fish. Okay, this Velkaz is pretty good. He managed to get off a good... He has good geometry. He knows his angles. He knows how to walk them angles. Going to see... Nope, I'm not going to get it. The Velkaz is going to get it. And I'd say we can all back off here. Actually, the Velkaz got a lot of health back. Did he just, like, chug potions for days? I now have enough potions to, I mean, don't worry, bot, I love you. <laughs> gonna give him a heart, because, you know, if he's gonna love us, we're gonna love him back. Which is pretty nice. This Velkaz, you know, is a good dude. They're gonna take mid lane, sadly. We can't stop that, I don't think, unless Timo gets off a miracle blind. Doesn't seem like he is. I'm actually gonna go, say I'm going towards mid lane. Oh, I don't, I thought I had my trinket. I don't, I didn't, don't know. I thought I had a trinket. So, yeah, they want a ward. Though they do have a little guy there, constantly surveilling it. So there should be no way we should actually get that without, you know, them see uh, without them seeing it. Okay, they might have seen it, I have no idea. But look at it, it's just hopping. It's just hopping. It's useless, pretty much. It's very useless in that kind of situation. So let's see, though it might take toward here. But our team are coming up to pretty much back us up. So even if they take toward, they're probably both going to die. Gonna go ahead and throw that out there, so I at least get the assist on the Hueda Kaiser. So I'm gonna say, good job, team. And they wanna go for Dragon. I have enough health, so I could probably do something there. Even if I have to get off a hook, just a hook could really make the difference here. And if I had my red, my red trinket, I would have swept it. Swept it. I'm actually gonna go ahead and move to, if the Zed does come to fight, I'll go ahead and be in position to hook him before he gets close to Dragon. Ooh, he's gonna... Can we, can we get him? No, there's a ward there, so they probably see us all coming in. Which is sad, because if there wasn't a ward there, that would have been a nice catch if the Zed didn't know if we were all around. Ho! Oh, what now, son? You guys got hooked. Oh, what? Oh, he's going to do a bit of damage to me, but I mean, like, it doesn't matter. He's too low to do anything to me. Though I don't have any mana, so I couldn't really do much other than try to flay him, which I did miss. 
Can I get him with my hook? Nope, don't have enough mana. Sadly enough, I do not have enough mana. So I'm going to go ahead back. They do still have mid toy. It would be nice if you could take it, but I mean, right now it's a bit too risky. A bit too risky. And actually, the Velkaz is being ultra risky here. Oh, wow. If he continued that jump, I would have hooked him without fail. So I guess I managed to force him to put his life in check. Be like, nope, I can't do that. So I don't have enough mana for another hook at the moment. I'm actually going to power up my E, which I was doing last game, but it went... Last game was a 5v4, and I thought, you know, there's no point in doing a 5v4, because, you know, it's kind of sad that they didn't have enough players, and the Shin Sao, like, quit almost immediately. So it's not like, oh, he quit, like, towards the end. He quit towards the beginning, so there was a 4v5 for them the whole game through, which is just definitely annoying, and they, it's like the Shin Sao didn't quit because he was super far ahead. He just quit super early. He didn't even consider trying to fight and keep, keeping it, you know, keeping his team in the game, which I kind of find annoying for people. So when them have the same score. Praise the tentacles. Sure. Why not? Looks like Timo's going to die because he waited too long. He he flashed too early because the Zed was still in his shadow form and he was supposed to, and he would go behind Timo no matter where he was because he flashed. That definitely took him down. Sadly. Timo's like, aww. But, you know, you can't really prevent death all the time. Can I kill this? It's not going to see me, actually. It's going to take way too long to turn around, and it's not going to see me. Oh, I didn't get my red. Dang, and Zed just warded, as you guys can all see from the Teemo stream, giving a bit of vision. We saw that the um, Zed had warded. So, you know, for a fact that he knows that he would know if we're coming from the side. So, I'm going to go ahead and kind of throw him off here. It would be nice if someone came to help. I mean, Velkaz is coming, which is pretty nice. But I don't know if we can do much here on our own. We might be able to get the Darius. Gonna go ahead and throw out my ult. Slow them all down. And they should not be able to survive. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and heal the guy here. And there's a Fizz. So No, that's Callista. My bad. They're both blue. Can I get enough speed? Uh, we're gonna get slowed down. I don't think we're gonna be able to catch her. Oh, he was gone? Oh, no. Okay, now we should just back off. We don't want to get caught out here too badly. So we should just back the heck off. And there's a ward there, so we should be careful. Clistus thing still didn't see me or the Teemo. It's really useless, actually, isn't it? <laughs> uh, it's just funny how, like, it should see us, but it's like, eh, I'll let them be alive for now. Can I? Nope. I was hoping I could hook someone there, but it seems like I can't. I don't know where the fizz went, but we're going to go ahead and see if we can't take this top toy down here. We should be able to. I'm going to say we should just back off now because I want mana. I want to buy my red trinket while I still have it in thought, you know? But guys, I know I said I want to go back as soon as possible, but I want, I want the souls because souls are delicious. If you can eat souls, you should. Teemo. No, Teemo. Why didn't you run into my... Well, I guess, you know, they still killed him. But I would have gotten the assist if he ran into my shield. Though sadly I didn't shield him well enough, whatever. And it seems like the Civ is going to get out alive, so that's pretty good. So I'm going to just be like, good job team, we're doing a pretty good job. To... And they still have all their teammates, so you know, it's a good job of our team. It's not because they have the we have the advantage, which is pretty nice. I'm going to go ahead and get my nice little mo boots mobility and my red trinket and move on with my life. Actually, I can go ahead and get my upgraded Oracle Lens, is what it's called, but I call it the red trinket. Everyone calls it the red trinket. And, you know, I'm red, and I love the color of, like, I love the glowing red effects on Thresh, Blood Moon Thresh. I love it a lot. To be honest, it's really cool looking, in my opinion. I love the color red, and the more vibrant it is, the more, like, atmospheric, like, if you can make a red look really, like, powerful and cool, I love it so much. I love red, the color red to death. And the way they did red here on this skin is just amazing. Just absolutely stunning. Gonna go ahead and do damage to me. I don't care. Not a lot of damage. Cause oh, I'm not even actually building armor. I'm building magic resist. I forgot already what I was doing. Clist is top lane. I'm gonna go ahead and hook him. Pull or oh, not? Gonna miss my flay. Doesn't really matter. He's actually taking a lot of damage. He's probably gonna die. Getting the assist like it's no big deal. And my hook's almost up again. Ooh, I'm going to take a bit of damage here. Trying to get off a of flay. Trying to be single-mindedly getting off a of flay. Ooh, am I going to get the... Am I going to get him? 
Gonna get him. We're gonna kick his butt. Though I guess my ultimate became very useless. <laughs> Didn't do anything there with my ultimate. Whatever. And Clist is up there, so... Can we do something? Can I can I bait something here? Can Cl Will Clista jump on me? Actually, no, she's just... She's too scarred. Oh, Fizz is getting hit. Can I hook the Fizz? I'm actually going to go ahead and shield him just for the uh, assist there. Okay, not going to get hit with that. I'm uh, instead going to get hit by a lot of lasers. Oh, what? Teemo, you... Teemo! Why couldn't... Uh, Timo didn't tank it because it was attacking him and he made it go on me. Timo, you killed me. I'm going to say it. He killed me. I'm not too mad. I'm just going to let him know of his sins. His sins. Well, I mean, Timo is the spawn of Satan, so of course he had to kill me. Going to go ahead and shift enter. GG. Ah, oh, I didn't get it out in time. Sadly, I did not get that out in time, but whatever. This was a good game nonetheless, so hopefully you guys all enjoyed it. And let's go over a recap of what Thresh's capabilities are, and some of the little good tips of what you can do with Thresh. Thresh is a really strong initiator with his hook, which allows him to not only grab the player and pull them towards you, but if you use it again, you can pull yourself into the fray of your enemies, which gives you off a perfect moment either to flay, and if you get them all, if you get one of them and get into the center of them all, you can go ahead and build an item such as... I mean, not an item, but have his ultimate. Pretty much makes a whole arena around them. That if they don't have a blink, they're going to get massively slowed down. So no matter what, they're not going to be able to escape. And it doesn't matter if they have dashes, because dashes will still get slowed down. Such as, if, for example, I was playing against a Graves last game. Graves used his dash and went right into my wall, and he still got slowed down. And it's a very powerful slow. Not only does, when I get close up, I have a Flay, which is also another AoE slow. So pretty much... Thresh can, if Thresh can get into his enemies' faces, he can pretty much keep them there and make sure they can't escape, which is a really nice, really nice. Thresh is the kind of person who pulls you in and doesn't let you leave. And, you know, what I did, he, and good tips in lane, one quick good tip, if you guys try to go ahead and kind of constantly stand, like, in a position where you can hook them, you can either zone your enemies and have them go back, or you have to force them to, like, constantly be wary of your hooks, which definitely will throw them off and make them miss minions. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video, and if so, remember to like, subscribe, vote in the straw poll down below. This week, the theme is mid lane mages, so, or, well, mid lane AP champions, because Akali is not exactly a mage, she's more of an assassin. And I'll see you guys next time on the League of Legends.